keeping you up to date with the latest in science fiction on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts and YouTube. It's the news with Matt Miller. Welcome. It's Friday, the 26th of March, 2021. Can you buy me a coffee, please? Or sign up for membership to support the Trek Zone anthology series. All the details are at the Trek Zone slash support. Now, let's dive in. Hanel Culpepper has won an NAACP Image Award for directing. She won for Outstanding Directing in a Drama Series for the Picard premiere app Remembrance. Culpepper made Trek history, and in an essay for Deadline last month, she noted that becoming the first black director and first woman director to launch a series never even crossed her mind because she was focusing on her work. Lower Decks lost out in the awards for Outstanding Animated Series, and Dawn Lewis lost out on her voice work as cap as the captain both to doc mcstuffins on disney jr Boo. well the voyager documentary has a name to the journey looking back at star trek voyager was announced during the week as well as some key artwork the documentary from 455 films will take viewers on a similar journey to that of sibling doco what we left behind reflecting on the star trek series from the perspective of those who worked on it for close to a decade hd remastered footage will be included now that the stretch goal has been met pending licensing from cbs of course we'll continue to follow the documentary right here on Trexo. Well, today, recording day, of course, is Leonard Nimoy's 90th birthday. He's part of a trifecta of birthdays this week. Three men who were pivotal to creating the Star Trek we know and love. Of course, William Shatner's birthday five days ago, also age 90. But makeup supervisor Michael Westmore turned 83 on Monday. For Leonard, the city of Boston is paying special tribute, announcing the 26th of March will be Leonard Nimoy Day in the city of Boston for this year. And finally this week, Southern Launch Australia has been awarded the country's first launch facility license. The Minister for Industry, Science and Technology signed the certification earlier this week following a lengthy licensing process. The Kaniba test range is situated 40 kilometres northwest of Sejuna on South Australia's far west coast and was the site late last year where Southern Launch sent two space-capable rockets to the edge of space, permitted under a Civil Aviation Safety Authority licence. We'll be catching up with the Southern Launch team at next week's biannual Space Forum in Adelaide, so be on the lookout for our coverage. Well, what a week on Trek Zone. We kicked off the week with Dr Luke Daly beaming in to talk about the Gloucestershire meteorite, uh, hoping to give us a better understanding of the building blocks of life. It's a carbonaceous chondrite that they managed to find uh, within just a few hours of it landing on Earth, thanks to the Global Fireball Observatory. Monday, we played the second last mission of Star Trek Judgment Rights. That, of course, is the follow-up to the awesome 1992 interplay game, Star Trek, the 25th Anniversary Edition, which we've also played here on Trek Zone. Tuesday, Dr. Brad beamed in to tell us about Mars's missing water. A new study is suggesting that it's actually underground. Dr. Trek beamed in on Wednesday to talk about Shatner's legacy, celebrating 90 orbits of the sun. And I've got to get him back and talk about uh, Leonard Nimoy as well, celebrating a 90th birthday this week, and Michael Westmore celebrating 83 years this week as well. Thursday, a special time for uh, my first chat with Dominic Keating on That Time When. Continuing the Enterprise-themed episodes, uh, this Saturday is Anthony Montgomery, but uh, my first chat with Dominic Keating is available now. Well, don't forget to follow us on Twitter to catch snippets of our podcasts as well as the latest info. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as podcasts wherever we are, wherever you're listening to us to never miss a moment. Activate notifications too to get our stream directly to you saves you having to find us and it just appears there especially on youtube really handy you get the push notifications of when we release new episodes doing that seven days a week of course not forgetting the opportunity to buy me a coffee uh, or signing up for membership for the trek zone anthology series really looking forward to getting cracking on that one one more game to play it is star trek bridge commander and then we get into the trek zone anthology series on mondays that's going to be coming up around may i think it is we've got uh, eight missions on bridge commander to get through so really looking forward to all of that you're not going to want to miss a moment of trek zone podcasting seven days a week from studio four all by myself uh, as the main source and the main driver of Trek Zone. Not forgetting Keely as well and the other contributors, Dr. Brad, really helping me out for Talking Science as well. 
Well, for Trek Zone, I'm Matt Miller. This has been the news. We'll catch you again for another podcast real soon. Keep up to date with Twitter. Catch new podcasts daily on YouTube. Plus, we're beaming to your favorite podcast app five days a week. Just search for Trek Zone.